What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Firstly, if you haven't been before, actually like and subscribe because I'm showing you how you can overcome your frustration and procrastination so you can excel and become the best version that you ever can in your life. So make sure you like and subscribe to the notification bell, I actually like Please, secondly, I want to welcome you, welcome to my channel. I really lo obviously love new subscribers. If you are new, leave a comment section, let me know if you're new or not. But today, I want to go through, I'm in now Monk mode, if you haven't known already, I've been in Monk mode for the last, God, like 12 days and I've seen the massive growth in terms of myself, my spirituality, my physicality and also my workload. So today's Monday. If you saw yesterday's video, we talked about going through and doing physical exercises and working on your, your physical body, which I think is amazing, and about the things I had on Saturday when I went to a party. But now, I want to show you guys how to goal set. And I want to show you guys how you can go ahead and set your goals for weeks or for months to make sure that you're working towards something while you're actually going through monk mode. Because the whole point of monk mode is to bring you to the highest level that you can possibly be so you can focus. That's moving, deep, that's moving dopamine, removing all the things that distract you in your life, removing porn, removing cigarettes, removing alcohol, all these things that hold you back and all these things that make you want to do everything other than going after your dreams and working after your goals. You have been moved. If you haven't done that yet, go back in the description below, look at lesson number one and day number one, so it'll take you through the whole monk mode, show you all the tips and things that I've learned while I've been doing monk mode, and also allow you to follow along. So if you're, if you're still not new to this, go back now, because when I get to day 30, you're gonna to be too far behind. So your goal right now will be left behind like anything else. So anyway, so I wanna take you through quickly what I do for my, uh, my days, I uh, plan my days. I usually do this on a Sunday, but yesterday, I decided not to do nothing whatsoever, just rest because I've been working super, super hard. My body just really recuperated a little bit. But I want to show you quickly what I do. All you need to do is obviously sort yourself when it comes to a goal. Your goal is for you to work on. It's your mission, it's your purpose, whatever it is that you're trying to work on. But you should, you should have a goal. You see, what most of us do is we choose our lower self rather than going for our higher self because most of us live in fear. And most of us, we're afraid of success, we're afraid of failure, or we're afraid of just being rejected. But mostly, mostly, you're afraid of success. And the reason why you fail success is because you don't want to lose what you previously had. You don't want to have to change, admit that you're wrong, to go after something new, because that means you're going to lose what you previously had. And most of us can't deal with that. Like, I get it. Most of us cannot deal with the fact that we're going to lose something, or we can't see a benefit of gaining something, so therefore we stay familiar, we stay in the comfort. We stay in the in what we know because subconsciously it's safe to do so. So a lot of us believe a nine to five job is safe, but it's actually not. You've been programmed, you've been taught to make to believe that these things keep you safe. In fact, all it does is keep you small. So if you're someone that's aspirational, someone that really wants to go after what they want in life, but someone that believes that they can get more and they want to go become procrastination, this is a channel for you. And stick around because at the end I'm gonna give you some tips and resources to help you to plan your goals. Okay? So so let's go through a couple of things. The first thing I want you to understand is um, what it actually takes to go and find it. So there's three elements. The first element is that they must be inspiring. It must be something that you truly, truly, really want to do. It must inspire you to take action. The second one is they must be believable. There's no point in trying to be the President of the United States in Uganda, which just ain't going to happen. The third thing they must do is they must be goals that you can act upon. You must be able to do something and act upon these goals when given the right structure and given the right frame. So the reason why you're doing that is because you need to understand that goals are not just straightforward. Everyone has goals they want to do in life and they never actually do it because they don't understand these three very powerful components. <clears throat> so I want you to think about this before you go ahead and set your goals. Like it's really, really super important uh, that you do so. So once you understand that, you can move forward. And I want you to list down five things you've already accomplished already in your life, five things that you believe that you've accomplished and that you're super proud of and why you're proud of it. So it's basically you're doing that because you want to you wanna prove to yourself that you have been able to achieve goals before and in the past you were able to achieve something and you're super proud of it. So I want you to go ahead and do that. Then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and list down 50 goals you want to achieve in your life. Okay, 50 goals. If you want to achieve in your life, now again, remember that's the inspiring, something you can achieve, and something that's you know desirable. So, for about 50 goals, you'd love to achieve. Like, for example, you want to go driving with sharks, you want to make 10,000 a month, whatever it is, okay? List them all down, don't be shy. And I want you to break them down into one, three, five, and ten year goals, okay? One, three, five, and ten year goals. Now, there's other elements on here that I want to take you through, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. So, if you want the information, if you want this resource, comment 
monkeys below and I will give you the worksheet that will help you to plan your goals. What I usually do is, is I understand what I've achieved before in the past, like what have I actually done that's been a goal that I'm really, really proud of. There's a couple of elements I want you guys to understand, okay? The first thing I want you to do is first you understand what kind of goals you want. So I want you to write down 50 of the goals that you want to achieve, okay? Just 50 of them within the next year, okay? If you want to get really clear on yourself, within the next year, 50 goals you want to achieve in the next year, or let's say five or 10, whatever. Let's say next year, 50 goals, okay? Be imaginative. Now I want you to break down those goals and say which goals are most important to you, top four, right? So one, two, three, four, in order. Go to top four goals and say to yourself, these are the four goals you want to achieve in a year period of time. Here's what most people lose, is everyone's worried about the what. What should they do in a year's time? What, what kind of goals should they achieve? Instead of worrying about the what and the how and the when, what you need to focus on there for is the why. So next what I want you to do is I want you to go into the top four goals that you chose and then mention why that goal is important to you. Why is it important that you actually achieve that particular goal this year? It can be family, it can be friends, it can be monetary, it can be whatever. Whatever reason that you want to achieve a goal, write it down. Next what I want you to do is I want you to go deeper than that. All right? I want you to say, okay, goal number one, if that's the reason why you want to achieve it, I want you to mention four times more. So I want you to go five levels deep of why you want that goal. Okay, so really go deep down and say to yourself, okay, if you want to earn, I don't know, ten thousand dollars a month um, by the end of this year, okay, why do you want to do that? What well, I want to be able to buy a car. Okay, why do you want to buy a car for? What well, I want to be able to take my girlfriend out. Why do you want to take your girlfriend out for? What well, I want to be able to see more status in life. Okay, why do you want more status in life? Well, because I grew up poor and I don't want to. Um, I don't want to continue being poor. Why is that important to you? Because I want to have kids. I want my kids to grow up. I want to have a good mentality. Now you see. You're going after that goal is a lot different than you just wanted 10,000 a month. Now you have a reason why. You have a big fire lit up inside of you to actually achieve that goal rather than just being like, oh, I want 10,000. What's going to happen? You're going to start, you're going to get motivated, but then something's going to happen. You're going to get distracted, you're going to get procrastination, and then you're going to stop. And then you're going to go back to the same way again because now you're still fearing success. And what's happening is inside of you, you're getting all these weird feelings, but you don't know why. Because now emotion is taken over and you're basing on a personal behavior and habit. Instead of looking at it as a new experience and the opportunity to grow. Okay? That's my tip for you. So I'm going to give you guys a um, resource. If you want that resource, just comment. Um, what shall I make you comment? Oh man. Monkeys. <laughs> comment monkeys in the, in the comment section below. And I'll give you a link to the resource that gives you actually all, all the resource of how you can actually plan your goals for this week. What I like to do as well when I plan my, now I know what I want in a year's time, everything I do accommodates to the end of the month. So I know every single month what I'm trying to achieve, I break it down into four weeks. So every single week I know what I need to achieve. So then on a Sunday, I then track back what I've done, see whether or not I've achieved it or not. If I haven't, then I adapt and I'm flexible to make sure that this week includes the goals I'm trying to set and I make sure that I hit it. So I set actionable steps to make sure that I achieve the goals that I want to achieve every single week. So then that, those goals accumulate to the month a few weeks to the year. That's how you move forward. You move forward by step by step. You don't move forward by jumping, you move forward by standing still. All right, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, again, it's something that I always wanted to, to discuss and talk to you about. If it's something that you do need, make sure that you obviously leave a comment, monkeys, and comment below and go back to day one or whatever one of the month modes you haven't watched yet and watch the series because it's all about being high level. All right, anyway, um, thank you for watching. I always appreciate you guys. Leave a comment, leave a like for your way out and uh, send you some love. Peace. Yeah.